Welcome back. You're watching FBC Sports. The drama of the court's IDC final seems to be the talk of the town, but the Fiji Football Association is yet to decide what to do next. Now that tempers have cooled down, FBC Sports decided to see what the Suva side had to say. Shelvin Chan spoke to coach Gurjit Singh. We need again, though. Suva believes it won the game last night and are the rightful IDC champions. Uh, everyone in Fiji is concerned about it. Only people who are not concerned, but maybe not much concerned as well. But uh, throughout Fiji, I know we have a lot of super fans uh, who follow soccer. And uh, I think uh, true sportsmanship should have prevailed. The capital city players and officials had brought along their families, including children. None of them had expected the game to turn out the way it did. Definitely, they were very, very scared. And uh, example, in the the crowd was uh, about 90 percent was a uh, back crowd. There were maybe 10 percent super crowd, and they uh, they, they really uh, threatened by the fans uh, when they start throwing bottles and uh, even stone. And one of the stone also hit our team director. Just because, so I mean, everyone was scared about it. Singh claims yesterday's final showed the absence of fair play from the bar side. Sportsmanship shown. I think if I go and they've been scored against us, uh, we have just accepted the defeat. And uh, they should have uh, accepted it. And if there was a problem, they should, uh, should have continued the game. But uh, the way it ended, uh, I think it's not good for Fiji soccer. The super coach says he's spoken to his bar counterpart, Yogen Radat. Uh, I just had a talk with the coach again, who admitted that it was a clear goal. And it's a true specimen. Uh, we had a good friendship, so we talked to each other, and he also admitted these things would have happened. For Suva, even if they are awarded the trophy, yesterday's incident has taken the sting out of celebration. Basoka turned down our request for an interview. Shelvin Chand, FBC Sports. And any doubts about the new look Digicel Fiji 7s team can be cast aside after a superb performance at the Gold Coast 7s. The national side proved skeptics wrong, outclassing New Zealand 32-14 in the final to retain the title and take an early lead in the IRB World 7 Series. They return home tomorrow, but as Elena McDonald reports, there's little time to celebrate with the Dubai 7s up next. A brilliant start for Fiji in the new season of the IRB World 7 Series. We've claimed the first of nine tournaments. But the real buzz in the national side is the brilliant performance by the new guns who helped record five wins from six games over the weekend. Thinking for the game was said, and yesterday we were really proud on that. And we are uh, looking forward for that game, and the boys was doing well for the game. Warden speed star Chochi Rangamate scooped the player of the tournament award and is the leading point scorer. I got a shock that I was announced the best player, but. I take it up to the Lord. I thank you very much for everything that you have done for us, and uh, especially the new boys. They pulled up their socks and uh, came to this uh, level of rugby. And the New Zealand team, the, even if uh, the new boys and the new boys coming from us, uh, the rugby is old, but anybody can play rugby well. In Dubai next month, Fiji heads Pool A against Kenya, Spain and Scotland. New Zealand, South Africa and France lead the other pools. The team will have a week to rest before the second batch of selections begin with a fitness test next week. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. The Fiji Warriors defeated Samoa A 42-34 in the Pacific Rugby Cup match at the Fiverr Stadium in Tonga this afternoon. The match was a formality with the Warriors already having claimed the PRC title last week after Tonga A defeated Samoa A. Warriors hooker Israeli Lendua was named the man of the match. The Fiji Warriors' last PRC match will be against Tonga A on Friday. That's your sports for tonight. Good evening.